The race for Bungoma senatorial seat continues to take shape as various parties have shown their interest to claim the seat. However, Ford Kenya Party is now adamant that they will retain the seat after David Wafula Wakoli has been officially handed the Ford Kenya ticket to vie for the seat. Wakoli Wafula, as our candidate of Senate in Bungoma County, before I give the certificate, I want to say one thing, as for Kenya family, we are ready to battle it out with any party who will bring the candidate. And we are ready and we are sure we are winning the seat. This is the only seat that for Kenya had and we cannot afford to lose it. The seat fell vacant after the former Bungoma Senator Moses Masika Wetangula vacated the seat to become the Speaker of the National Assembly. It's not all about who people think they know or what people think they can touch whichever button they think. This election is about content, is about an agenda, it's about the future of our people. And I'm able and ready for that task to engage my able competitors anywhere, anytime, on whatever issue that is coming on board. And our people where I come from say, Mundu, Humundu. Wakoli called on Bungoma residents to come out in large numbers on 8th of December and vote for him as the senator. That our able speaker of the National Assembly has done. His record is enormous. And I'm able to continue in that footprint, that path of articulating the issues of the people of Bungoma, legislating laws and bills for the people of Bungoma and the country, and providing oversight. Because the work of the Senate is oversight, representation, and legislation. That is the framework within which I'm going to deliver my duties and responsibilities. And the House of the Senate is not an, an idle uh, camp where people come and make merry or a, a, a picnic site. This is a place where we are going to deliver the agenda of Kenya Kwanzaa. This, as the IBC is also expected to gazette the date for the by-elections in Garissa Township and Kandara, following the appointments of Adin Duale and Alice Wahome into President William Ruto's cabinet.